Hello, this is Hussam Hurani again, and today we'll talk about very interesting subject, uh, which is tree and Pythagorean viewer. Can we, for example, view such a tree based on the data set, or can we even view more complex trees like this in orange data mining? The uh, answer is absolutely yes. Let's let's uh, try to uh, play with the iris data set, and I'm gonna uh, show you how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna uh, first. Um, pick the file widget and from file widget we will um, choose the iris data set this is the iris data set and from iris the target is um, the last one okay which is the iris class apply and from here you can simply uh, view the data by data uh, table so this is the data table all these records are in the uh, uh, in this data set we have 150 records 150 records so if i connect this to tree okay so i connect this data set to a tree classifier and uh, if i double click there are some options you can choose but i will just ignore it for now can i view the tree is uh, the answer is absolutely yes we can just connect to tree viewer tree viewer and you can double click and this is the tree it's as simple as this you can see the branches per each you know subclass so this is toza if the um petal length less than 1.9 it's Stoza. otherwise you go if it's more than 1.9 then you drill down into all these subsets so this is the tree so if you can if you want to choose this one you can click this one and you can select it uh, or connected to a data widget to see which uh, which see which uh, I clicked in this block the red one here and you can from here see all the records that follows this block so I will open both for you to understand so you can play, click, click this one or this one or this one or this one or this one and you can see all the records based on your selection this is the first one this is the first view. The second very interesting thing where you can connect a tree to Pythagorean Pythagorean tree. And here you can actually see the actual tree. See, this is the, the tree. And you can even click in any block, for example, this block, and you can view the data. So I can connect this to data table also. This is the data table. I can keep it open and I can uh, then open the view this is the view here and this is the uh, data table and you can browse the whole tree so this is the whole thing see th these are the subsets you can you know click into all these subsets to see how they are associated all together this is the second thing so you can view the actual tree now uh, if we use random forest random forest and as you know random forest it has multi tree like this one so i can connect it to pythagorean uh, forest okay and then i can view all the trees see these are all the trees uh, associated to this data set based on random forest and you can connect also if you want to drill down you can connect to pythagorean tree to pick one of the trees for example this tree and this is the the tree and then you can click in any of these you know blocks and you can drill down into any of these you know subsets this is an amazing because uh, to uh, show you uh, um, uh, something very interesting we can pick up uh, another data set for example we can pick up the housing data set because it's more complex so let me browse into housing data this is the housing data set and from housing data set, let's view the trees. For example, this is the trees. Uh, this is the tree, Pythagorean tree, as you can see. We can make it colored, as, as you can see here. You can choose any subset and you can drill down uh, into these subsets. And if you open the uh, forest, you and make the color based on the mean, these are all the trees. These are all the trees. And this is actually amazing because 
for the people who are searching and digging down into all the data and how they are associated together, how they relate together, and they wanted to have deep understanding of what's happening, they can actually browse these trees and they can view uh, the, the, even the records based on the selected uh, you know, tree. So for example, I can uh, open this one and open also this one. And based on that, I can then browse you know, as you can see, you can browse the data here till you reach specific, you know, uh, subset that you are searching for. So, for example, if you are in the medicine world, you can search in, into this this group, or you can even convert into this whole group, and based on that, you can drill down into the subsets, the data, and this is a, a amazing, uh, an amazing view for the people to understand the data and how they associate it all together. So this is the uh, lesson for the uh, tree, tree viewers, and we've seen the, also you can see the big tree here. Uh, you can zoom in and zoom out to see how they all relate together. So as you can see, this is for housing data set. It's very complex, but you can again switch off, uh, switch back to the iris data set to make it simple. So this is a tree and this is the tree viewer you can actually drill down and you can analyze the data freely. And this is the strength of orange data mining. So this is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next lesson and goodbye.